What's going on YouTube? This is Daniel the Kid coming at you with another video. I am getting sick and tired of these damn door knockers that are going around these damn truck stops. This is getting fucking ridiculous. It is at the point where a guy can't even get a fucking good night's sleep anymore. Because they want to keep fucking knocking on people's fucking door in the middle of the damn night. Waking us up and starting shit. I'm sick and fucking tired of it. This shit has to fucking stop. Like, I wasn't even here a fucking couple of hours. And I already had two motherfuckers at my door in this place. And I'm not far from where the fuck I grew up. And that, where I've lived my whole damn life. This one motherfucker walked up to me and tried to tell me he was from the middle of fucking Missouri and shit. That he's out of fucking gas and every damn thing else. And him and his old fucking lady, you know, blah, 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 are fucking stuck. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I don't give a fuck. I'm sick and tired of this shit. It's almost always the same fucking lies and a damn near the same excuse. I'm kind of wondering, is there a fucking, I'm going to try to scam a trucker's fucking union? Like, oh, this is the excuse we're going to use this fucking week. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, calm the hell on. It's getting old. You know, I had this one fucking dude walking up to my fucking truck. The second I get back in it with my fucking chicken tenders. And yeah, I said, I eat fucking chicken dinners. It's the only damn thing that's good at the fucking Flying J and the pilots. Especially when you're lactose intolerant. But, that's besides the damn point. This dude, with the freaking flyers, putting it on everybody's truck. He literally walks up to me. There's an empty spot right here. And he's standing there. I got the damn window down. Because I'm freaking, you know, getting fresh air and shit. Just hop back in the truck. And this dude would not take the damn hint to get the fuck away from my truck. I'm on the phone talking to my girl. And, that, and I'm telling this dude, don't come near my truck. You know, stay away from my damn truck. I don't like people touching my damn truck. I pay for this motherfucker, not you. I got fucking a shit ton of money coming out each fucking week for this truck. You fucking touch my truck and you fucking break something, you bet I'm going to break my foot off in your ass. Because then I'm going to be out of fucking work for a couple of days, out of fucking some serious fucking money because you wanted to put your Grammy little fucking hands on my rig. Don't touch my damn truck. Don't come near my damn truck unless I tell you to. Okay? This is my home and shit. You know, I fucking gave up my fucking house and shit and I'm living out of this bitch full fucking time. And that something happens to this fucking truck, I'm done. I don't fucking care. I will fucking kick your ass. Especially when I'm fucking not even 10 minutes from where the fuck I grew up and where I technically live. I will fuck your ass up. And not a single damn cop in this area will fucking bat a damn eye at me whooping your ass up and down the damn parking lot. Not a single one of them will. In fact, half of them will more than likely arrest a some bitch just because I told them they fucked with my truck. You know, it's one thing, you know, you're a security guard or some shit and I'm pulling into your fucking place. You walk up and you, you know, I hand you the bills and shit. That's cool. But some random fucking homeless fucking crack kid looking motherfucker, stay the fuck away from my truck. You have no business to even be back here in the fucking trucker's parking area. You don't have a fucking CDL. You don't have a fucking truck. Stay the fuck out. It's as simple as that. I'm getting sick and tired of it. Then you get these damn four-wheelers that fucking come flying through the damn truck area like they own the bitch. 
I'll tell you this right now. Once this fucking truck's paid off, and I have my own damn trailer, try that shit. In fact, you can fucking try it right now. I'll take the fucking trailer, and I'll T-bone the living piss out your fucking car, and knock it to the far end of the damn parking lot. Because guess what? When you're coming up on my fucking blind side, and I can't fucking see you, and I got my truck fucking bent, and I'm backing up, that ain't my fucking fault if I hit you, little bitch ass. I got my fucking four ways on. I even fucking hit my air horn twice before I do any backs. And that because of idiots like that. And I'll tell you this right now. I can't see your fucking little bitch ass trying to come around me. And that. And I'll be damned if I won't fucking hit you. I'm sick and tired of the shit. And that I'm sick and tired of me fucking having to worry that I'm going to smack some damn car or some fucking crackhead going through the truck stop parking lot while I'm trying to back up. Us truckers, we know how to go around a fucking truck that's backing up. Trust me, we know. Because we go in front of that bitch. We don't walk behind it. Unless we know that motherfucker's going to be sitting there for a minute. Or they see us. Other than that, yeah, either we wait or we go in front of the motherfucker where we know they can see us. Stop the stupid shit. Y'all think you're going to get a fucking payday by one of us smacking you because all these fucking little billboards get hit by a trucker get millions. No, you ain't getting shit, bitch. You're going to be lucky. And I mean lucky that you don't get your ass owned by the insurance companies and shit because you caused the wreck you caused the accident and that when we can't fucking see you you're fucking hell when you fucking tailgate us and you're riding our fucking DOT bumper on the ass end of our trailer if you can't see my mirrors then I fucking can't see you and guess what then you also can't fucking see what's in front of me and you don't know if we're about to hit a fucking brake check traffic jam or a fucking construction zone or a fucking cop on the damn shoulder. And guess what I have to do? I have to try to slow the fuck down. And depending on the situation, I might have to lock my damn brakes. And I do that and you're fucking sitting there on your goddamn phone texting and bullshitting. And doing shit you ain't supposed to be doing while fucking driving? Guess what? You're going to smack the ass into my damn trailer. You know what that's going to do to my truck? Not a goddamn thing. It just means I'm going to have to take a few hours out of my damn day. Talk to the fucking police. Talk to the damn company and every damn thing else. And give them a verbal statement of what the hell happened. And then swing by a shop get the damn thing fixed and be on my damn way now y'all want to get in front of us and brake check us and shit and try to cause a wreck because you're an impatient fucking asshole or you just want a damn payday I'm going to give you a little secret almost I want to say probably it's probably damn near 98% to 99% of all trucks have a fucking dash camera and guess what they record your dumb little bitch ass slamming on your fucking brakes in front of us and us trying to stop to avoid smacking you into the next week and guess what almost always happens you get your ass smacked and the best part about that is is guess what that dash camera covers our ass yeah, you know what? My truck's going to be out of the, out in the damn shop for probably a fucking month while I'm getting a new bumper and a new hood and some new headlights. But, get this. All I got to do is call up my company and say, hey, some dumbass brake checked me. I fucking locked my damn brakes. Damn near skidded the fucking trailer into the fucking ditch and almost rolled the motherfucker trying to avoid it. But guess what? I tapped their ass. And there you're going to say, all right, how long is your truck going to be out for? Um, a couple weeks, maybe a month. All right, fine. 
I'll go out and I'll fucking still get paid. I'll go pick up abandoned trucks and basically repossess semis and that for the major carrier that I work for, I'll get paid to do that. And yeah, it's not as much money, but you know what? At least I'm not paying for that fucking truck. I'm not paying for the fucking fuel and every damn thing else that goes in that bitch. Keep fucking with us truckers and see what the hell happens. You know, you guys walk up on these trucks and shit. Truck Stop sells these. Nice little knives. And you can bet your ass that every fucking trucker at least has something like this. And see, mine's special. Yeah. And guess what? Try to fucking jack a truck. Keep on your stupid shit. Keep trying to fucking cause a damn wreck. Sooner or later, you're going to come across that damn trucker that had a fucking enough of the bullshit. And they're either going to fucking knock your ass in the next week. Or they just going to kill your ass and keep on trucking. The tolerance level is getting very fucking thin with a lot of these damn truckers. See, me personally, I don't give a fuck. I get paid the same whether I go 50 miles or fucking 10,000 miles in a damn day. And the 10,000 for you fucking liberal snowflakes, that ain't happening. It's fucking theoretically and fucking possible. This ELD bullshit. That and my truck only goes a certain speed. But that's besides the point. You guys need to stop fucking with us. Stop messing with trucks and stop waking us up in the middle of the damn night. Because half these fucking truckers out here, if not a little bit more, they got something a little bit bigger than that damn knife I just showed you. Most of them got a fucking pistol. Most of them got a fucking rifle too. And hell, some of them got a damn shotgun, a rifle, and a fucking pistol. And they're not fucking playing anymore. You know... There's been too many fucking shootings, too many fucking truck jackings, and too many fucking just plain out stupid fucking pity. I had a fucking guy just fucking a couple of days ago trying to pass on the fucking shoulder doing about 60. I saw him coming fucking miles away. I fucking blocked the damn shoulder. Because I knew there was a fucking accident within a half mile up the damn road. And a bad one at that. This son bitch gets out of his car on the shoulder and starts fucking waving and flipping me off and every damn thing else. And I'm just fucking sitting there laughing my damn ass off. Because I know that if that son bitch would have kept up at that rate of speed, he would have been an accident on top of a fucking accident. Then... I hear over the CB and shit, you know, hey, the fucking, you know, the two right lanes are pretty much shut down. We need to all be in the far left. So I'm like, you know what, fine, I'll stop fucking with this guy and blocking him. And, you know, I start to, you know, merge over. The dude gets in front of me, right? Hops out his fucking car. Has a fucking little bullshit badge and a fucking Glock. He's waving the badge and a fucking gun. I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't know, and I don't care if he was a fucking real cop. He could have been a fucking rent cop far as I know, because one, he had no lights, no siren, and on top of that, he had civilian plates in a civilian car. So, if he was a cop, he was off duty on his fucking way home to get a piece of ass. Either way... Oh boy, if he would have fucked with the wrong truck, he could have got his ass shot. You know, and I'm not going to confirm or deny if I got something in my damn truck bigger than a fucking butter knife. But let's just say this. I know how to use what I got and I know how to use my damn truck to my advantage. 
And I'm not fucking playing anymore. It's some bullshit. I'm going to make sure that I go home at the end of the end of my tour of duty, basically. After my little tour of being out there and shit, I'm making sure I'm going home to my family. If I had, if that some bitch would have fucking aimed that gun at me, trust me, this fucking truck would have knocked his ass in the next week. Plus, you know, I don't play that shit. I'm a fucking prepper. I'm part of a few fucking three percenter groups. And we don't fucking play in that. We don't throw the first punch. We don't do the first any damn thing. But guess what? We throw the last punch. We fire to the last round. And we whoop your ass. If need be. You know. And shout out goes to a buddy of mine who's a fellow patriot and a trucker. I'm not going to say your name, brother. But um, thanks for the hat. And um, I'm going to tell you this right now. I have no problem handling my business and that, and running my business. I'm an owner-op. And for those of you in trucking, you know what that means. I'm one crazy motherfucker. And then you add on all the other shit that I am and I do. I'll fuck your world up and I won't think twice about it. In fact, I'll sleep like a damn baby. Now, this all being said, I'm going to fucking bed. And the next song bitch that knocks on my damn door better have a damn good reason.